Welcome to video number 5. This is remembrance-kjv.com. In this video, we take a look at the model of the human mental arithmetic memory that can be used to explain how the brain cells manage the whole process of mental arithmetic computations. After the observations I mentioned out in video number 4, I tried to come up with a model that explains the response of variables or memory holders to the effect of numbers. It was after a struggle, but eventually I came to a point where I could represent the human mental arithmetic memory in the form of this diagram. What we have are the sensory organs that can serve as input devices for numbers. The eye, the ear, the hand, and the brain itself. A person physically disadvantaged in only one of the organs except for the brains can still take advantage of the model using the other organs. At the end of the track I consider to be a system of neurons are the output organs, the hand and the mouth. In between are some blocks representing temporal memory cells for computing and holding computed results. So, the model is in three parts. The sensory part, the brain, and the motor part. This is how the model operates. As soon as any of the sensory organs detects a number, a four block memory holder is generated to accommodate a pair block memory holder. Instantly, the first pair block is generated and gets into the four block memory holder to hold the incoming number. In this case, five comes in and it is read as a unit. When another number comes in, say seven, Five shifts to the 10th cell of the pair memory holder and the complete number is coded as 57. If there are more numbers coming in, another pair block variable is released into the first four block variable. Both five and seven will shift to give room for the incoming number. In this case, the number is 3. 5 is now occupying the unit position of the second pair block variable. This is why this three-digit number is naturally read as 573. Another digit comes in, this time 8. The shift of digits continues and this time it is coded as 5738. The first four block variable is full and the brain generates another four block variable to accommodate the second pair block variable that contains 57. This leaves space in the first four block variable for the incoming third pair block variable, another number comes in and the shift goes on. This is now a five digit number and it is read as 57384. Next, nine comes in to give a six digit number. This is read as 57. 3849. There should be a noticeable breadth between 57 and 3849 because the two belong to two distinct four block variables. The process goes on and another pair block variable is generated into the first four block variable. Another digit this time 6 comes in. It is now a 7-digit number and is coded as 
5738-496. Another shift and we have an 8 digit number. It's coded as 5738-4962. We go on, 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 on and shift. We now have a 9 digit number. 5738-49620. Shift again and we have a 10 digit number. 5738-49-6201. Next, next and shift. That's an 11 digit number. 5738 4962-019. Lastly, on this diagram, we have a 12 digit number. 5738-4962-0193. Using this model, it is possible to come up with a favorable grouping of digits for a number of any digit size. Favorable in the sense that it is placed into a grouping format that the brain finds convenient to memorize. So, the following numbers are coded as follows. 457 8392 47 526 28 31 49 72 61 547 17 53 64 95 In the absence of the model of the mental arithmetic memory, these groupings might appear as if they are disorderly, but the knowledge of the model proves otherwise. Let's try and say something about this model. The first four compartments are chiefly responsible for arithmetic computations and unity-based transitions, while the rest of the memory holders are reserved for temporal storage of computed results before they are released to output organs. What we mean by unity-based transition is this. We have 5. It changes to 50 in 57 back to 5 in 573 and again to 50 in 5738. This happens within the first four variables and not in any other variable. This model of the human mental arithmetic memory operates on the principle of a queue, first in, first out. The first number to be coded in is the first number to be output. This model matches the biological design of the human central nervous system. In the central nervous system, we have the sensory neurons bringing in messages. Then, the brain and the spine compute favorable responses to be relayed through the motor neurons. Using this model, it is possible to compute the most significant digit as it comes, then either store or release the result before attending the next incoming digit. This characteristic does not marry well with the Greco-Babylonian approach or modern-day methods of treating number operations. Modern day approach is based on a stake, last in, first out. Calculations begin with least significant digits. This means that the memory cells are supposed to store all digits of a number before the brain can start computations. Digits are stored beginning with most significant digits. Computed beginning with the least significant digit, then released beginning with most significant result.
if any person can put it to mind, trying to marry the Greco-Babylonian mathematics with this mental arithmetic model can only result in utter confusion. It's not possible. And that is why the world has gone for centuries in mathematics darkness. People should realize that all number operations are easy with the digits in their unit form. From the model of the mental arithmetic memory, it was observed that encoding the digits of a number, every digit passes through the unit positional variable. It is therefore convenient to compute every digit of a number as it passes through the unit positional variable, then store the result of the computation before finally releasing it to output organs. To give an example, let us try and double the number 5738. We are multiplying it by 2. 5 comes in and it is multiplied by 2. It gives 10 as a product. Shift 10 and it becomes 100. This gives room for 7 to come in. Double 7 gives 14, which when added to 100 is 114. Shift 114 gives 1140. This gives room for 3 to come in. Double 3 gives 6, which when added to 1140 gives 1146. Shift 1146 gives 11460. This shift gives room for 8 to come in. Double 8 gives 16, which when added to 11460 gives 11476. Therefore, if 5738 is doubled, the result is 11476. Smart and excellent. We are done. This model was my greatest discovery. It is this model that parents every mathematical thinking and algorithm. Every other explanation that is to be made in this research is subject to this discovery. In the remaining part of this video, we shall take a look at different ways of practicing how to load up digits of a number into memory. At the same time, following the grouping technique as guided by this model of the human mental arithmetic memory, let us begin with the numbers from a PowerPoint slide show. 8 83 837 83 83-72-49 83-72-49 83-72-49-65 83-72-49-65 Let's check. That's right. 83-72-49-65 Another method can be to have numbers written down as this. Then use a slotted cardboard like this one covering all digits and leaving a space for only one digit. The cardboard is moved across digits one by one till the end. The value is now recorded down and the cardboard is removed. Then make the coded value with the uncovered digits. Let's start. It's seven. 74 
746, 7465, 74659, 746592, 746592. Let's check. That's right. 7465.92 There is also another way of training how to load digits into memory that can be done using numbers written like pages in a notebook. Let us begin. 7 71 713 7135 71359 713590 713590 713590 713592 Let's check. That's right. 7135-9042. You can use the same video to repeat practice accruing the same digits into the human mental arithmetic memory. Thank you. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel so that you get informed each time a new video is uploaded. Meet you in video number 6 where we will take a look at playing cards and other traditional methods of uploading digits into the human mental arithmetic memory.